Okay, dump the ice cubes in here. Okay. Whoops. Okay, now I would like you to fill that glass with ice cubes. Okay. Certainly full, right? Yeah. In fact, sticking over the top. Okay, next, I would like you to take these two glasses over to the sink and fill them both almost to the, full of water. Okay. And bring it back, okay? Okay. Now you notice I'm wiping off the table so there's not a drop of water on it. Okay. And I will wipe off this plate so there's not a drop of water on it. Why? Well, you'll find out in just a moment because I would like you now to use this long medicine dropper and take water from there and fill it this glass so that it's right to the very brim with water. Okay. Don't let it overflow, but get it right to the very top. Aha! That's it. Okay. Move these out of the way. Wipe everything up so there's no water any place. Now my question is, as the ice melts, will the glass water will the water overflow over the top of the glass? I think so. Why? Well, because like you have the water, and the water is filled to the top, mm -hmm. and then you have the ice. Also, and like I think well, while the ice melts, it'll just overflow. Okay, that's one theory, and that's definitely a theory, right? Yeah. You know what a theory is. Well, there's another theory, which I would like to advance and see how you like that. As you know, ice expands when yeah. it freezes as compared to water. That's why ice floats, right? Yeah. Okay. So, therefore, as the ice expand, uh, it c condenses, in other words, goes back into water, it should take up less space. Therefore, the water level will drop. Okay, yeah, I see. That's theory two. Yep. Now there's a third theory. Obviously, the volume of the water is taking, taking into consideration the ice that we've got in there. So as it melts, it's not going to change at all because the volume has already got that ice floating in it. Okay, I see. That's yeah. the third theory. Which one are you going to take? Mine, my theory. The first one? Yep. That it's going to be, that it's going to overflow. Yeah. Okay, now that's why I wanted to wipe up everything so there's no water around any place. I We're going to let it sit there very carefully and melt. It'll take about two hours. Can we be back in two hours? Sure. And I promise I won't touch it. Okay. Okay? Hi. Hi, Karen. Hi, you're right on time. Two hours. You're very punctual. Are you usually? Most of the time. Okay. There's the glass that had the ice in it. Don't touch the counter now. It didn't melt. And your theory was that it was going to melt and flow over the top, right? Yeah. And why was that? Well, the ice, like it was floating above the top of the glass, right. so I thought it would melt. Okay. And that was go one over theory. It. That was no good. Now, the second theory was that the ice expanded as it would change from water to ice. Yeah. Therefore, it took up less space, so that as it melted, it would take up less space, so the water level ought to drop. Yeah. Didn't, did it? No. <laughs> so the third theory. You remember now I told you that as you added water to the ice and you got it all to float, the level of the water took into effect the mass of the ice. Yeah. And therefore, as it melted, that water level is going to stay exactly the same. And that's what happened. Yeah.